Hello people, my tribe welcome back to another reading. I apologize in advance, um, I told some of you that I might be doing free mediumship, live mediumship uh, today which is Saturday, but guys unfortunately I have a lot of private readings to do and some self care too, so I do not want to overwork myself, I've learned from that lesson already, <laughs> okay? So whoever is new, welcome to my channel guys. Um, how we do things here, we choose from my intuitive deck, which is an abstract deck. We also do lessons on my community tab where we practice to read intuitively on one another. So if you want to join, go ahead. And uh, for the rest of you regarding your free guidance guys, uh, live readings, live mediumship readings, have the bell on if you have subscribed so you can catch me whenever I've started doing live. You know you can catch me for guidance there and I try to do as many people as I can, okay? So, let's start with. This reading is gonna be a thing. I'll try to do it as often as possible. I came up with this interesting topic where we are going to be looking at the next important person in your life and it can be anyone it can be someone new coming coming towards you someone you might um, meet someone who's coming from the past the main thing here is what it's going to be like what they're going to bring what kind of lesson there's going to be or maybe what is, is there something new that they can bring you so it's kind of an exciting topic because we do deal with people every single day and I think I'll keep it running guys for you okay every week or so we'll see how it goes let me zoom in to your cards that is pile number one pile number two pile number three take your pick uh, stop the video if you need some more time. Also, if you have chosen from thumbnail already, go ahead and jump in your pile and I'm gonna provide timestamps down below. See you there. Hello, tribe who has chosen pile number one and this card over here, I have pulled additional cards from Intuitive and I'm incorporating your chosen card to the reading as well. Now, let's look at the situation here. Listen, it's a very interesting scenario for pile number one. The person, the next person who's gonna be important in your life is someone who has been trying to achieve some sort of a dream, has been trying to um, go the distance in a way where they would do anything in order for this dream to, to come true. So they had a goal in life and something has happened where things didn't go as planned, okay? Something didn't happen the way they imagined things to happen and therefore it brought teardrops we have here, great personal sorrow, okay? And I do see it was for a reason for this person, okay? Funny fact is that we do have one star reversed over here. You can't see the whole... Um, layout here I'm gonna show you cards as we speak and we have another star in the same column over here but it's upright so you are meeting this person or they're meeting you so if this is your scenario with a teardrop you know how to flip situations right I'm just gonna say someone in this case I do see two people coming together to have fun because someone had some kind of disappointment to do with their personal life, with a dream, with some kind of a wish, okay? And therefore, um, this person will be, will be sent to you for a reason where you flip or they flip the star upright for you, saying, you know, not everything is a loss and not everything has to be taken as, um, that's it, I'm done, you know? Because these two cards look very dark, don't they? and they sit right one next to another here. I don't know why I'm picking up some kind of intern. Um, even if you or them are not, it's something to do with one person trying to learn something in their job that they are not very familiar with. And um, 
it's like practice of some sorts okay and something goes wrong in this situation here where this person needs to actually go and meet the friend uh, maybe they haven't seen you for a long time or you haven't seen them therefore you are there or they're there as a helper for you okay does it make sense and of course we have three of cups here and we have light-hearted carefree time with the jack you know and again it's a jack these are cups these are three women dancing in this deck i mean it's a really nice energy so whatever disappointment one of you will be encountering this was for a reason in order to bring two people together and it seems like maybe it has been some time where you haven't seen each other for some for some time and um this suddenly happened and then bang you know you are there to be for each other now pay attention to your finances it can be a warning for some of you but don't see it as a warning here we're gonna clarify pull more cards as we go i more so see it like you know do not be do not be afraid to spend some money just to have fun that light-hearted carefree time because maybe it has been a long time and that experience will be something that you can't even put to you know you can't even put money on it it's just a really really good time uh, let me see there is one more scenario here I also do see a situation where someone has to leave their home or something happens in their home where this other person says, you know what, you don't have to be there. You know, you can just leave. You don't have to be there. Let's leave this situ situation. <laughs> Lovely. Came up with a new word here. Let's leave this situation, okay? Um, and uh, because we have seven of cups here. And it feels like that house that has been built, it's crumbling, okay? And uh, everything is falling down for a reason. We have that here next to it. There has to be a change of direction when it comes to whatever that comfort and home environment means to you, okay? Or maybe this other person. And I do see two young-hearted people coming together with two different uh, experiences in life and they're making it work you know they're making they have two different problems in a way but they're making it work in a way with they say you know what let's get our dreams back on track let's go out have fun plan something that we want to make happen and Anyway, even though we had a setback, we're gonna make this happen. The star is up right now, okay? And I, this reminds me of ballet. So maybe some of you probably 0.01% is gonna vibe. Um, someone might be a dancer. And we do have here in four of, four of wands, people are dancing here too. I wanna mention there is a situation also what I'm seeing that there might be a situation where one person has an issue with their child, okay? And um, I've seen this child over here. Some Maybe your child is misbehaving and you need help with that, something. Or maybe there's an issue with your child and it's uh, right above page of wands. Page is a child, okay? The youngest one. Still trying to learn situations and everything about life, right? And I do see two towers over there behind me. Before some of you, it's gonna vibe when we talk about the location. It seems like whatever will happen to you guys, it seems like you guys are being brought together in order to uplift each other. But it seems like you are there in order to kind of say, you know what, don't give up on your dreams. And them too. And you might come up with a plan of some sorts to make things happen. Now we have another one uh, saying pay attention to your health. So for some of you, if you are drinking, make sure you don't have one too many <laughs> on that night out if you will be going out, okay? Anything that you do when it comes to having fun, uh, make sure that your your health doesn't suffer that much okay so if you have to get up to work the next day or something like that along those lines make sure you don't stay up 
until too late because it seems like you might be distracted the next day and something might happen where you're like, shit, you know, I screwed up and something. Um, just like a heads up for you here, guys, okay? Let me see what else here. I do see someone opening up. That would be a fire sign. Fire sign would be opening up to you, maybe an air too, okay? Air or fire opening up to you about the past relationship. They have separated already, but they would like to tell you that they still, their heart is still aching. And uh, they have been trying for some time not to bring it up but it's going to be a case where they won't be able to when once you meet them you know probably two or three hours in the conversation i do see someone opening up about the past relationship that kind of screwed them over in one way or another okay yeah and it sits right next to, like, you know, intuitive sets the vibe for the whole row. And it all of these cards speak together very well. Because this card, usually how I, I see it, it's someone who is kind of sneaking behind your back. And we do have at the very end of a row, three of swords here. You know, it starts with that and it finishes with that. And then death is reversing. That has happened in the past, you know. So I do see someone kind of trying to act that they're okay but really when once they are comfortable they will be telling you that you know what that was actually really difficult for me to get over and uh, it has taken some time and it still comes out you know even though I'm trying not to talk about it but I feel like you will be very supportive or if that's you telling it to them they will be very supportive okay so whenever I talk about a specific scenario if you know it's your situation, just know it's gonna be them. And as I said, very supportive, we have King of Cups here, okay? Someone who's super loving, very honest, always there for you. This guy seems like he's gonna be waiting there for you to talk for hours and he'll be like, you know, I got you, don't worry. Speak your mind. It seems like even at the, oh my God, forgot, I forgot how it's called. Can you imagine? Someone teach me English. <laughs> It seems like it's for anyway. It seems like it's falling asleep. Okay, it's been so long uh, for two people communicating that it seems like you know. Even it seems like he had shoes on, but he took it off just to be more comfortable to listen to you, or vice versa. It's uh, it's a really nice vibe here that I'm seeing. Two people being very supportive. Swan, here we go. Took a while, right? A bit slow. Look at this. The way it flipped. Look. So we do have King of Cups following Knight of Cups and Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we have a different scenario here. For some of you, that might be romantic. Okay. That might turn to romantic as well. So it, even if it's like a, I don't know, um, first date or something along those lines. So that's a different scenario, okay? Before it was more like a friend vibe that I talked about. Now we're talking about a different scenario where it can be where you go and meet someone. It can be even your friend. You never know, right? And then it starts turning. This person is so caring about you and like so lovely the way he or she is handling the situation that I kind of feel like feelings might start blossoming there but it seems like it's not gonna be that quick kind of you know hookup it will take a long time in order for this uh, connection to develop okay so it's like a slow and steady but i do see it starting with a really really nice and honest conversation being super open about the past issues that you both have had in the past and um I mean, come on, this person, you know, is coming with a rose here. And I do love this card. I think it's one of the nicest King of Cups. By the way, that's called Textured Tarot. Take a look at it. And um, it seems like it's a really nice time, guys, you know. You'll be spending together a really quality time here. And let me see, one more card here. I feel like there's one more thing that's unspoken.
really? So yeah, <laughs> there we go. Um, I wouldn't take the lovers, as you know the lovers, if I didn't have the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups <laughs> right before that. So there's obviously some kind of connection happening to, for you guys where you it feels like you will need that time with this person, okay? You will need that uh, touch, that really... Um, to feel protected and to feel in a way where someone is taking care of you, taking care of your emotional needs, taking care of you um, physically, everything nice is coming for in pile number one, okay? From my intuitive deck, what I have is a Gemini card, so maybe for some of you that's gonna be important. I'm not looking at uh, signs very often, but when I hear it in my head or when I see from intuitive I have to say it okay and I think that's pretty much it for pile number one please update me because it's very interesting let me know how it goes and um, my tribe I love you as usual for everyone else consider subscribing and joining the tribe bye for now hello tribe whoever has picked pile number two so we have something to talk about here now in your pile, it seems like the person who will be sent to you and I, th and I feel like they are already around you. It's not like you haven't seen them for ages, okay? I do see a situation where this is, in many cases, a female that I'm seeing. It can be a man too. So let's not put you guys in one box. I'm gonna talk about, I'll be kind of generic, you know? Right, I do see a, a situation where Whatever happens for both scenarios, this person will be teaching you boundaries. This person will be teaching you how to say, you know what, F off, um, mind your own business and don't get involved in my life. Maybe that has already started happening for you, for some of you, because I do see from intuitive, by the way, that's the card you've chosen and I have pulled a couple of more cards to kind of tie in the whole scenario here. Um, I do see already you guys kind of feeling the distance between you both of you because it feels like you might not like each other too much, <laughs> okay? Um, especially I feel like you guys, pal number one. I don't feel like you like this person. Now, let's be more specific. For some of you, I do see that it can be someone's mother, okay? Straight off the bat, someone's dad as well. And why I'm saying that, I did have Queen of Pants um, popping out. At one point, we have Ten of Pentacles. In this deck, I always take it as, you know, family, married family. Then someone else is kind of looking at them in a way different. Um, it can talk about different scenarios, but I here I do see that it's someone's parent, especially with a hero fund that we have here, okay? So... I feel like one of you guys will understand that you know what it's enough carrying those ten of wands that I have been carrying my whole life and uh, looking for better what's the word I'm looking for and looking for it seems like you you are looking for a place to go for to somehow get away from this burden that's been put on top of your shoulders it can be um opinion it can be someone getting in your head where they keep telling you same things all over again it can be very subtle it doesn't have to be straight in your face but it leaves you in a state where you like would you stop already okay and I feel like you will be going against it so we have ball and it says do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude so I do see some of you guys and bear says danger especially in money matters um, I do see some of you guys trying maybe to even save money if you do live with someone or with parents let's say still um you're trying to get enough money in order to get away from that situation 
for some of you i feel like you might be the parent and you might be trying to get enough money in order to support your kids okay and uh, maybe that's not happening in the way that you want it to happen therefore you like when will i finally have this happy family kind of vibe you know where we do have money we can buy a dog if we want to we can support another dog if we wanted to get another one or have as many kids as we want maybe you are single mom i do see see that coming through here too What's going on here is make sure, whoever you are in this scenario, make sure you're not listening to anyone who feels like a burden on your shoulders, who feels like they are not helping you out, but uh, they are giving you, giving you even more problems. Where, let's say if there's a situation where you don't have enough money and this person keeps nagging you about it, it says here, it's your time to go. That person was sent to you for a reason, Again, as I said before, would it be a parent? You have signed a contract, okay? Would it be a um, partner, ex-partner, whoever that is in your case, uh, this person was sent to you for a reason. To break your own beliefs, to break your own boundaries in order for you to step up your game in a way, in a way where you respect yourself more, you stand up for yourself. Don't forget that. This part is all about standing up for yourself and saying F you, um, back off, take care of your own life because I am taking care of mine. And um, there is no right or wrong how to live our lives. No one can actually advise you how to live your life because everyone is struggling with different aspects in their lives too. No one is perfect, okay, when it comes to decisions. And that's something you'll have to understand and you will. I feel like it has been dragging for some of you for a long time and now you are like, I feel like I'm already distancing myself from this person. Now, August might be an important month. I'm not going to interpret it too much. I'll leave it with you. Maybe you do have plans already. If you do, comment down below. Let me know. Seems like a nice um, maybe getaway or, or change of some sorts for yourself. We have key and it's a successful outcome to our problems for sure because i do see here that you're not gonna back down and you will be fighting for your own opinions and your own beliefs uh let's get into this a little bit more we're gonna pull i feel like i want to keep on going with this steampunk deck I want to dig a bit deeper to who this person is so you can have a clearer picture of a person, okay? Four of Wands reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Okay, I already see a picture here. And the Hangman. Okay, listen. So I'm going to pull one more. Actually, there's one more that needs to be pulled. Sorry. I go my, by my gut feeling at all times. And Ten of Cups reverse. So if you see what's happening here, so many re <laughs> reverse cards when we talk about this person. Listen, this person, whoever they are, they're not happy in the first place, even though they might not be showing it to you. Doesn't matter if they taken or they single, their love life is not good. Their home life is not good, not as good as they would want it to be. So I do see them showing it in a much brighter light than it actually is, okay? Everything is on hold in their life. And um, at one point of their life, they might have been bullied. I do see that. Or they might have been really bad when it comes to boundaries and therefore they might be doing the same thing for you here where maybe you are someone now who is not um who doesn't have their boundaries together just yet and they do see that opportunity where they can kind of overpower you in a way so that it makes them feel more of a value of some sorts okay it's a very stupid thing to do i mean it's um it's coming from someone who is very weak okay and you know that and i feel like you just needed to hear that today maybe it's gonna make sense for some of you maybe for some of you there's a different scenario so just take this situation as if this person whoever they are re understand they are much weaker than you are and i'm not saying it because you know oh, i want to make you feel good no literally they are not 
as close to being um, as strong as you are, okay? So I hope you understand that because you have the Ten of Wands here. This person has been carrying this load for a really long time and um, it doesn't seem like they are moaning. They will just keep on going, you know, taking those steps. It doesn't seem like it's the first time and that's talking about you trying to um, start everyone else's businesses and your, yourself too and then maybe taking some crap on top of that from someone and um, this person is someone who literally wouldn't even be, be able to step you know those three steps having that many ones on top of them so be sure that you are taking care of your own self and uh, you have learned from this person coming in your life okay it's a really good, I kind of like this for you guys, it's a really good lesson. Now, another thing, make sure that this person doesn't keep any secrets from you, okay? Secrets that might be important to you in one way or another. Um, there is a situation where I see that some information is being kept away from you. So if your gut feeling is saying that, you know what, I kind of want to look into the situation. If you can see uh, my nine of wands, guys, it's kind of looking at something at the distance, kind of wanting to find things out, okay? So if you do have that niggling feeling in, in yourself where I feel like there is something to it, uh, it probably is, okay? So maybe try to dig deeper or ask people around what it is, what it is that you want to know. Or I would say, you know, it's... And here we go. It's... Um, this whole column is talking about two people kind of distancing one another from each other, okay? And um, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. You don't, I feel like you don't vibe together and you shouldn't have vibed. The, like you shouldn't have um, taken so much from this person, okay? It seems like maybe you, in some cases, you wanted to have peace between two people. We have two of pentacles here. But it ended up for you being a little bit too difficult where you're like, okay, I have to be on their side, but I have to be on their side too. And it be becomes a bit too much. Why did I do this to myself, you know? So just be sure that this person is weak, weaker than you are. Uh, keep your boundaries intact. Don't let anyone put you down. Be assertive as i say calm and unassertive okay calm and assertive make sure you don't back down i'm not saying you have to be fighting with every single person whom you don't agree with i'm saying you know one person who has been burdening you for some time already and maybe it's time to let it go okay if you look at this kind as i said before two people splitting and i did look at the Two of Pentacles here, it seems like she's letting both go and it. I, I kind of feel like those two Pentacles would start flo floating away from her, you know, like kind of going away from her. So these two for me is very similar here. So let me know if you're aware of this person just yet. Always love reading about your stories. Thank you for sharing. Whoever is new, join my tribe if you'd like to. Like and or dislike this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello tribe, whoever has chosen pile number three and that's your card. I have pulled two more intuitive cards from both sides to, to kind of tie in this whole scenario here. So who you, whom you will be dealing with, <laughs> um, I wouldn't say feminine if I didn't see it in the whole deck. You know, I do see feminine everywhere here. It starts with intuitive, then here, then here, I mean, I have some cards over here too. So let's say someone who has more feminine energy in them. It's not necessarily that they are in feminine body, okay? Now, I do see a situation of two people where one person is trying to be very calm and put together, working on their finances, on home environment, very concentrated and focused in a way. And I do see another person who is in relationship that they are not happy in and these are going to be two personalities dealing with one another okay now one of these people I do see that they might 
be suffering still from anxiety or depression the other person is thinking about their relationship and uh, maybe they do have they recently had some kind of argument with a partner and um, I do see a situation where there was a chat about what if I take this risk and then shit happens you know it's something about um, risking whatever in order to get whatever in their life but it's to do with their partner okay they might be from different backgrounds um, and I do feel like you might be a person who this person is coming for help you are someone how they see you, you are someone who is very put together they do see you grounded AF okay they do see you working on your craft as if nothing can touch you nothing and no one can touch you you have temperance over here you might be a healer you do I do see two snakes over here oh my god I, I was dreaming about snakes tonight I should check it out um and you know that's what you see on in pharmacies right those two snakes kind of um, wrapped around one another so that's talking about one of you being a healer natural healer you might be attracting people um, without even trying who have any kind of problems in, in their lives okay and you're like it's okay you know you can trust me I'm gonna heal you I don't even need to to try as much because my presence is healing already okay and that's I feel like that's what's happening because this other person that's literally your your column and the card you picked I feel like you are someone who's very a feminine your feminine is very attractive okay so it can be literally um, talking about a female who's or very has very nice curves or very nice chest or very nice um, behind it's something about it's something very feminine and very like classy and you know calm and collected about you that I see here um, when it comes to um, someone who has more feminine in a ma in masculine body I do see that it might be that you have very nice eyes very nice eyelashes the way your hair is it's something very attractive okay so I want to put this out put it out here with this info for you guys because whoever is watching I mean I feel like you're on point and um, but it's not you know it's not from outside it's not coming from outside it's also coming from inside and this person will be like you know what would you able to help me out because I'm not sure about my relationship anymore I'm like um, I don't know like this person is very caring but I don't know what I should do I don't know if I should take this risk and jump from that cliff and chase that bird that I want or I should stay put stay intact and then last card in the column we have the chariot reverse saying maybe this person wants to travel or go somewhere but they might be putting it on hold or things are not working out as they want to they want it to work out okay and this person will be you are the best in whatever that it is that you do when it comes to making decisions when it comes to your work when it comes to your healing something about you where this person can fully trust you okay and they will be coming for help now make sure that you are someone who um who sees a difference between the um, two-faced people and the um, honest people okay because there might be one person I'm, I'm not talking about this person for some of you it can be um, make sure you are avoiding a two-faced friend over here okay but I feel like that's a third energy in the picture and now we do have tank card it says celebration fun enjoyment enjoy so I can't speak anymore enjoyment okay and um, it feels like someone is gonna be overthinking in this pile someone is gonna be not sure about their job opportunity about what they're gonna do uh, next will they get a job 
and I do see someone not having enough sleep at night where it's like you know what don't worry about it everything is gonna be as it has to be now for some of you we have dealings with or relationship with a man with that complexion or hair so I'm just gonna leave it out there for some of you that might be a case we do have unicorn here it says use your intuition to make beneficial change and it does it does sit in a in a place where it sits right the opposite from the cat double-faced friend right so make sure if your intuition is saying telling you something about even at night times okay uh, maybe you are getting dreams like this make sure that you kind of find out who that person is so you can withdraw yourself from them okay and I feel like whoever this person is they do like to look good it's something about maybe that is why they are two-faced friend because I do see a little bit of jealousy here and it has been popping up in my reading last time too so maybe you have chosen that pile last time there was one very jealous pile I do have two readings on my channel um, where the title is who is jealous of you so maybe you want to check it out and um, Whatever happens, guys, you're going to be someone who is on top of the situation. I do feel like whoever this person is coming towards you, I do feel like they're coming for help, okay? They are going to somehow make you even more grounded. They are going to show you how to kind of make you feel that I'm so glad that I have been working on myself for such a long time to ground myself because I used to be like this or I used to see problems in the, in this dark uh, light, you know, uh, where I would overthink and I would be like, oh my God, what if, what if, what if. Now, when I came out of this um, energy field and the belief system, I do not have those problems anymore and I do have everything kind of going very smoothly for myself okay so i do see that scenario here where someone will need help guys and this is a really nice person i think we're talking about um someone who's battling in their thoughts having arguments with uh their partner the, this is a relationship that i feel like is good but maybe something has happened lately where they might be like I don't know I don't know what to do about this let's clarify the situation here and see what else we can get out of this reading for you what this person will give you and they have the strength I said you know it's funny how this person will come um, to you for your help but not in an egg not from the ego way you know not egoistic way they they will generally need your help and they will trust you and by you giving that boost of confidence to them they're gonna bring you even more confidence in yourself it's a it's a, like an equal exchange and i do feel like that this connection is very nice seven of cups reversed very nice because it feels like you two are someone who doesn't bother each other too much Oh, one card on the floor, one second. But uh, when you do meet or when you spend time or when you talk, you have a really good time. It's very like, um, it's very genuine, okay? For some of you guys, this person might be bringing you a client or bringing you someone in your life where they might... They might offer you a job opportunity, okay? It's reversed, not yet. So maybe if you were in this state where you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I'm gonna get this new job and I really want to, this person might be able to help you out with this. It's something about your own um, career or business, whatever you do, guys, that this person will be helping you out with. Maybe not in... Um, in the near future but in the long run okay this person will be important when it comes to that now i also see a situation where they will they will try and help you out even though i feel like you are not aware of this but you might be doubtful about something yourself and this person will say you know what 
um, I feel like this is the way to go. And you were like, why I haven't thought about it before? I didn't even know I had to make a decision about this. I mean, it's going to be a really good exchange, guys, okay? Let me see what else here. Someone really wants to go somewhere. Would it be you or would it be them? We have London here. So I'll just throw in it. I'm throwing it out there. Maybe some of you wants to go to visit England. Maybe some of you wants to go, uh, wants to leave England. It's something about that. Or maybe it's someone who is thinking about changing countries, you know, and they don't know how to do it. Maybe you're thinking it's going to end up in disaster. We have tower popping up here, <laughs> but you're looking towards it where you're like, I really feel like I should jump on that. Um, my God on that boat over there but it seems like maybe those are not for me you know like I'm gonna wait for for another time and you keep thinking about this and maybe this person is the one who might be coming towards you for help but they will give you a really um, really good information or really valuable information when it comes to taking that chance or changing the place okay and as i speak i'm drawing the world but it's reversed in this case so i know that this hasn't happened just yet and the empress popping out reversed you so it's saying whatever that change you or them might be thinking about it's gonna be better than you think okay so whoever is new to my channel consider joining my tribe if you would like to like or dislike this video hope this helped out let me know how it's going and i'll speak to you soon bye for now